Hello friends, in today's video we are going to learn the formula called offset. Offset formula is very much used in financial data modeling. With the help of offset formula we are going to learn how to get the last month or last entry in the series. For example, we have the months from January 21 to November 21 and here we got the last month by using a formula called offset. Now here if we add any next month in the series, for example if I uh, drag this down, I will get the last month as January 22 and automatically here you can see the last month I am getting here in this cell is January 22. If I add any other month next to this month then I will get that month in the series, for example February 22. How do I do that? I did this with the help of offset formula. So today's topic of the video is how to use offset function in Excel. So let us go ahead and start the video. But if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hello all and welcome to Boost Your Career, the place where you learn the skills to grow in your career. Uh, uh, first of all, let us go ahead and learn what is offset formula, offset function. Offset function gives the reference to the reference cell from the number of rows and number of columns. For example, here we have this months and uh, some numbers are there. Uh, from this month cell, if you consider this as a reference cell, from this reference cell we want to get the value of 22. So from this month reference we need to first go down to rows down and then to columns on the right hand side then I will get this value of 22 that is how the offset function works so is equal to offset so I am putting the formula here offset what is it asking references so I want to cal calculate or get the value from this cell that is B4 where the month is written comma number of rows and number of columns it is asking so to get the value of 22 I need to go two rows down excluding the month row 1 and 2. So I will put 2. If I am going down that means plus 2. If I want to go up minus 2. Comma columns columns again I am going on the from the left to right. So 1 and 2 second column excluding the month column column in which the reference cell is there excluding that. So that comes again as a 2. Uh, again here we if you see here height and rows uh, are mentioned here the range, range is mentioned which is not required right now so I'm not using that which is not mandatory here so I'll complete the formula here itself and here I will get the value of 22 let us go ahead and take another example is equal to offset reference now I will take the reference for this March cell as a reference that is B7 and I want to get say 45 is the value 45 is the value that I want to I want in this cell so comma rows now I am going up 1 2 and 3 excluding March row 1 2 and 3 <coughs> because I want to get the 45 formula so minus 3 because I am going up minus 3 comma now I am going from uh, left to right for the columns so the value should be positive to the plus 2 so 2 so 3 values I am putting here and complete the formula I'm getting 56 as the value if I want 45 I will just change here as a 1 and I will get 45 as the value so this is how the offset formula is being used now let us go ahead and learn how the offset formula is being used in combination with other formulas uh, here we have the list of number of months from January to November 21 and uh, respective uh, revenue for those months. Now here I want to get the name of the last month. Now my list may be dynamic. Here I may add uh, additional months whenever I, whenever the data is received by me and that time I don't want to change the formula. I want the last month. If the last month is changed here I want it to be reflected in this cell. For that I am going to use the formula offset with the count function. Now this will be very interesting so is equal to offset tab reference cell I will keep this reference cell as month this cell comma 
now i want to calculate the last month for that i am going to use the count function from here to here so uh, uh, right now there are 11 months if i uh, keep the value if i put here 11 i will get the last n n november month but it may change so i want to use the formula count which will give me the number of months in this list count a formula will use not count count formula because I, it can be a text as well so count a calculates everything text and numbers so i am using count a formula and tab inside count a what is it asking value 1 value 2 that means range so i will keep this range larger than what is the value right now uh, i have so if i add any other value it will count the number of months now number of months right now is 11 but if i add any other month the count a formula will calculate 12 13 like that and and complete count formula count a formula so reference cell i given here count a will give me the number of rows comma columns i want the value from this cell only i am not going on the right hand side or left hand side so i will use 0 0 0 i am going to use if i want to uh, have the value from this cell i will use 1 but right now i am using 0 and complete the formula so here again see what i use offset formula reference cell i have given this month as a reference cell comma and for the row i am using the count a formula which will count the number of entries in this uh, column which can be right now it is 11 which can be changed it will 13 so count a will change according the number of entries will change i have uh, purposefully taken the large uh, range so that additional entries can be accommodated comma zero zero why because i am not uh, changing the column right hand side or left hand side that is the reason i am using zero and is it uh, enter so if i i am getting november as a last month for the corresponding revenue i will use the vlookup formula this cell comma table array from uh, this cell to this cell the additional range i will take f4 lock the cell comma 2 comma 0 enter 19,000 is the revenue for the last month now if i change this if i add any other month suppose i am additionally i am adding the month december 21 now automatically it will it has changed to december 21 suppose my sales for that is 50,000 we'll see and here if i add any other month january 22 it is changing to january 22 if any additional month is added march 22 is the last month so this is the way i am getting the last month for the dynamically changing reference data and that i did with the help of offset function i hope you learn the new function today which is called as offset which is very very useful in financial data modeling i hope you like this video if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to the channel thank you very much and see you in the next video